Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Look what I've got. Let me tell you, when I opened this box and I saw what they sent, I was um, squealing like a little girl. The silver chrome is amazing. I kept saying, we need rose gold. Not only did we get gold and rose gold but we also have vintage chrome they are as always vegan cruelty free pommel free 21 free hema free and beautiful and we're going to take a look at them and give them a little swatch swatch and i'm going to try to do some nail art um i actually have something in mind because i saw a rug <laughs> months ago that was like, I'll show you. It's just a marble, it's kind of cool. So let's take a look at these beauties. Um, uh, gotta get out the super sharp stabby stab and cut these off. There's no tab. All right, all right, that's okay. That's okay because these are gonna be beautiful, I know it. Okay, ooh, look at that. Can you tell how chrome that is? That's like the silver. And the silver didn't come, we already have silver, so I am gonna include the silver when I'm swatching these, but that is a gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I don't think you can see how reflective chrome that is. I don't know, maybe you can on the, on the films. So there is the rose chrome. And this, I didn't know. What is vintage chrome? We are, no we're not. Okay, I kept the thing off the little dealy. It was under there. Um, you are gonna have to stir these. That is the vintage. I don't know that it's a whole lot different than the silver and gold ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my gosh all right so beautiful already can't wait all right so i have a little bit of base gel over here to just to clean my brushes and i'm using my detail liner ultra liner and striping brush all right so i have toothpick and I'm just gonna give all of them a little stirry stir. Oh. And this one is the vintage chrome. It is kind of like more, I don't know, antique. I think that's the word I'm looking for. On the gold and I am gonna grab my chrome uh, my silver chrome and there's the silver and I just chopped them all open I mean I don't know that like living leaving a little bit here to scrape your brush off is that helpful because it it ends up getting on top of there and then you get it all over your lid so I don't know all right, so I have this tip that I've done, black and white, so we can check out all the colors and compare like the chrome to the silver and the gold to the chrome. I don't know which way I'm gonna do in, in order, uh, but I'm gonna start with the rose gold because I have begged, as others have too, I'm sure, begged and begged, hey, please give us some rose gold. Please give us some rose gold. And they did. Um, I'm just going to try to do a straight line across here. <laughs> Can't she do a straight line? Uh, I don't know. And there's the rose gold. And absolutely not a straight line. Well, I mean, the line's kind of straight, but I'm, I'm crooked. 
right, I'm gonna let that settle before I uh, cure it. All right, so these are just like the gel paints. You absolutely don't want to get them too thick. You can always go over it again, but if you get them too thick, they won't cure all the way through. Okay, all right, now we're gonna do the vintage chrome. This is vintage chrome. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one is just a little bit antique looking and this one is straight up silver. So and I am wiping this off over here and kind of running it through my brush so I can get a straight even line. I don't think I showed you doing that with the rose gold. You just don't want it globbed up like at one end of your brush. Here is the vintage silver. Uh, oh, that is beautiful. I don't know. I think I'll go ahead and put the um, old <laughs> original, let's say original, silver chrome gel paint on next, next to this vintage so that you can see the difference. I love this stuff. I use this all the time. And I know what's coming up next. You're going to ask me, but Guileen, can you paint them and just use them as chrome, like all over the nail? I don't know. We'll see. All right, now the gold. And I love that this is not a yellow, a bright yellow gold. It is just gold. And I didn't let that silver level out very well before I cured it. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. So rose gold, vintage gold, the original chrome silver, no. Rose gold, vintage silver, the original chrome silver, and gold. All right, there they all are cured. There's no sticky tacky. They are no wipe. And you can use powder if you want to over them. I don't know why you would, but they're very pretty. Oh, I love the colors. So I have some tips prepared and I also grabbed um, this is from this month's collection oh no it's not divine self is night shift is not um, I grabbed night shift because I wanted it a little bit more of a green and then um, eggnog latte and then the blue is the eight of blue from this month's and then I grabbed this gray and I did visionary I did two tips with visionary and then these three tips I did with eggnog latte and I grabbed some like glass the glass ones from last year I think October or like I don't know agent double o glam and undercover and I don't have inks all of their inks all the colors so I have some other inks that I grabbed um, from Marble Queen, a purple and a blue. I don't know, it's not really the vibe I was going for, but I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna do a swipe of this purple. I'm gonna get a lot of it off. 
And I just think that this needs to be in ink, but maybe not. I don't know. And with that still wet, I'm going to do the green. I don't know if this is going to work. I may have to do um, inks instead or use some gel base to water these down, but we're just going to go for it. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And I am going to velvet matte top coat this. And I think I'm going to use the gold. And I'm going to do a little bit of an outline roughly. Not going to go perfect with this because it's kind of, um, I don't know, imperfect. It's not supposed to be. And I'm just going to outline some of that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay. I'm happy with something I've, I've done. And then I'm going to put a little swipe through here too, I think. I think that's a beautiful. Alright, now let's see what we think about the glass. And I don't know if I should put, I think I am. I want it kind of 3D looking. I like that look. Oh, I guess I should show you the other one before I move on. I'm bad about that. Alright, there's that one. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm very happy with that. You could no white top coat that if you want it that way, but I love the 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 shiny against the matte. Alright, now we're going to use a little bit of the glass. And it's been so long since I messed with these that I don't really remember how they looked. But same, same kind of thing. I'm just going to do a little um, a swipe of them. Okay. That's nice. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, so I was starting to say, I'm kind of hoping that the, the glass um, makes it a little bit translucent, like you can see the purple through the green. And then I'm just going to wipe most of that off and kind of come down alongside of that and over it. Ooh, I love that. So that is the glass, and I did matte top coat that again. And then the vintage white. I don't know why I, saw, I said white. It's just vintage chrome. And then I'm just going to kind of cross through that. But was I in frame through that? Probably not. Do that again. Um, I 
and just kind of outline it however you want. Love it. I do have a little bit of acetone and alcohol kind of evenly mixed. I'm always unsure. Do I use acetone? Do I use alcohol? Mix them. <laughs> Here's the blue ink. Um, and the purple ink. I don't know if I should like go through this and dull it out a little bit. I think I'm going to wait. Oh, this stuff smells like grapes. Yeah, it smells good. Well, the blue did, the purple, not so much. And then I take my application brush and dip it in the alcohol here. And kind of blend that out. lines left in that. Okay. And I am going to map top coat that. I mean, that one looks pretty cool as it is, but let's use the rose gold on this one. Love it. All right, you don't have glass, the glass gels, you don't have any inks, you just have solid creams. Fear not. Just put some clear base on any kind of palette. You can use the inside of a margarine butter dish, whatever. Um, this is the blue and just add it to the edge and a little of the green so then you can mix it up like however much you want to in the clear and you've got a glass gel. If you feel like you need a little bit more color, add a little more color.
and I feel like I was a little heavy-handed with that that green but I love the kind of ribbony look gave so I think we're gonna keep that and I forgot to show you that one after I cured and that looks a lot like the glass and this is the original chrome silver chrome is just absolutely beautiful Jeez, my stomach is growling I hope you can't hear that just pretend you can't I, I don't think I screwed it up. We'll see. <clears throat> this is the rose gold. The vintage silver. The gold. And the chrome. Is that right? No. Nay. That's the vintage silver. <laughs> That's the original silver. I mean, I... I can't tell enough I can't tell them apart like they're not that much different maybe a little bit but there are be all beautiful get them all get one get two but there is the rose gold vintage silver original silver and gold so thank you Stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. Bye. Excited to see a new room? Wait. Hold on, I want to take a video. Go. Go get your new room. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You like it? You see your wall? And that is cool. Got you a plant for your room? Hey, no. Oh, I saw it there. Wow. Are you so excited? Doggy. I told there? them you can't water that plant. Yeah, that plant would just give them Okay, can spray. you climb up on your bed? <gasps> Got a ladder. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. You can almost touch the ceiling. Don't jump. <laughs> Is it comfy? Mm -hmm. Okay, get your sheep on. <laughs> oh, and you got a dinosaur down there protecting you and Where? and Jack. Let me see. And most importantly, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't get that Augie, it's enough. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that. Did you see your crazy, crazy wall? Oh, I love that rug. Did you see your crazy wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. But, but.